Good morning, everyone. Well, it is morning here, being after midnight. Uh, I think uh, if I can see my kitchen clock, like a little after 12.23. Anyway, you haven't heard from me in a while, but Brian with BMK Retro Gaming. Unfortunately, um, being disabled on a fixed income, I haven't been able to get a hold of much more material to make more video game gaming uh, gaming video content. Even though I have, as I had promised, intermittently put out something, but I've also had other things going on, um, had other interests and other problems I've been dealing with. And really, to get everything together to do, to do this takes both the interest and um, the financial ability to keep on having something to work with. So my apologies that I haven't been around as much as I might like, or as much as you, uh, my uh, subscribers, and uh, other members of my audience might like. But unfortunately, that's just how things have been here lately. Let me scoot up here a bit. This chair always gets scooted back. It's a nice, more comfortable, easy chair. I'm not sure if I had in the last video I did. Um, it's kind of like one of those lawn chair types, but it's still a, a lot more comfortable than that old wooden thing, old stiff wooden kitchen thing with a cushion I had. Anyway, um, the reason for this video tonight is Chris Call, the Atari Creep, and uh, Brian Puddin of Brian's Man Cave. Well, Chris started out making a video trying to understand, you know, about how there's been talk with um, Microsoft with their Xbox series and Sony with their PlayStation series that this may well be for at least them the very last home video game console generation as they don't feel I believe if I remember why I've read and seen about it right they can't increase like the graphical and other capabilities of consoles anymore so they don't see a point in trying to release another console generation Nintendo as far as I know hasn't really gotten on board with that so much but um Hey, they might stick in there and win this uh, possible final console war just by default. Even if you don't really do anything to outdo your competitors and you just happen to be the last one standing, win by default is still win. Anyway, um, much like Chris, uh, the Atari creep, and Brian of uh, Brian's Man Cave, I'm more of a retro gamer. I mean, I do create, do share memes and create contents on occasion which is for later generations, but I'm more of a second generation, a third generation guy. Some fourth and fifth uh, I have seen right in front of me behind this setup. My still set up with a copy of Bassmasters 2000, my Nintendo N64. Think what you like of it. It's, to me, still a pretty nice console and was very good for its time. And I do love fishing and golfing games. Anyway, I don't really bother with other than a little bit of content creation to, you know, kind of play to those in my audience and among my friends who are, have interest in the later and uh, current console generations. Just not my thing, though, so I don't know as much about it as not, and Chris was on there as the Atari creep trying to get some feedback and help understand it. It's really kind of my fault because... Well, I shared a meme that I picked up from somebody else, which I have taken some from the fact that a lot of my content, you know, say on social media, it's the internet, a public domain. If you uh, put something on a website, social media, you know, somebody's going to like it and try to sh repurpose and reuse it, reshare it, whatever. I've been accused of being sketchy and a thief for that here lately. I'm not going to name any names. I really don't care that much. But seriously, it's... The way I always learned it is, it's a given thing, um, even if you uh, have your stuff completely copyrighted with full intellectual property rights, if you put it online, you're putting it in a public domain, it's basically legally considered, I looked it up, nobody owns anything you put on the internet, because it's not really considered a tangible thing, as much as, say, something you can sit and hold in your hand. So go figure. Anyway, I did that, and that's what got Chris thinking about this, after he saw it in my feed. And Brian made a video responding to him on it and also addressing the topic. And so, um, I'm here deciding it prompted me that I should go ahead and make my own response video too. Of course, mine will probably be a bit longer than theirs. Um, hopefully not that much. But anyway, um, I'll say this. Please forgive my language here. 
But I am just sitting here marveling at how much shit starting sharing one meme can do. Oh well, it gives me an excuse to make this video and give you guys a little bit more content, so it's not all bad. Anyway, the way I see it is, having uh, gotten into retro gaming, I started out with the third generation Nintendo NES. Back then you had cartridges, you had your video game console, but the generation since, I think starting with, um, oh, about sixth to seventh generation, they started to get to the point where they're not much different than a PC, a personal computer, just a more stripped down one. And they've gotten to a point where although some of them still have physical media like a disc and all, rather than having your full game on it like we would have had back on the older optical media discs and on cartridges, um, you have to put up with downloads and updates and all. Your full game is not there, which I, I was like, even back when I first started hearing about this, I'm like, are these guys doing these games and consoles nuts these days? I mean... Even kids have been born like, you know, 2000 onwards. Some of them are already fully grown now, you know, who are used to it. I can imagine it's not something that makes the most sense and is going to be all okay with everybody, not just older timers like me. I'm 41, and really all this is making me feel a lot older than that. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, you have to... Uh, the thing is, once the servers go down for what's supporting the game, getting the full game content and all for all this, and they are uh, abandoned, there goes your gaming experience with these later and uh, current generations. So it's kind of like with, you know, switch from DVDs uh, and uh, Blu-ray physical media for watching your movies and TV shows, home media to streaming. You're basically renting something when you're streaming. You're not, you don't own a physical copy of it. I can see where even those who've grown up in generations that are accustomed to it are probably not going to be 100% fine with it. And I don't know what's wrong with the game companies besides, you know, trying to increase graphics, other con uh, capabilities of the consoles and games. Can't you innovate and come up with some new ideas? Maybe start, try to start some new gaming generations? I've seen it discussed where there's possibilities they may just go back to being software publishers, creating games still, but no more consoles, and I guess that could make some sense, but we don't really know what they're going to do. Uh, like I said, I started with the third generation Nintendo NES, and uh, went from there, though uh, about the beginning of the sixth generation, uh, seventh, uh, with uh, the Xbox and Xbox 360 is about the latest gaming experience I really have or care to. I don't care about anything that came after that, and I didn't even really get that far off into those. Uh, in about the earlier 90s, due to two stepbrothers, as I've mentioned in some other videos before, I discovered the old Atari systems, and later on would find out about the ColecoVision and Intellivision, and this generation, the second generation, third generation of gaming, that type of retro gaming, even though um, I was born late in 1982, I just didn't grow up in time to really experience them back then like some others have. But I'm a true retro gamer who looks back on them and loves these generations as my big thing. So I'm sitting here thinking, if really like Microsoft and Xbox are talking about, you know, and this is the last uh, generation of home video game consoles, uh, I guess even though it might be a little expensive, maybe some will turn over to full-blown PC gaming since they basically are just stripped down PCs at this point. In fact, a lot of them are capable of most of what you're full PC is uh, capable of. Excuse me, uh, a little bit of an itch there. Uh, or maybe good, you know, for retro gamers like myself, there may be a shift where they try to be more supportive of their previous consoles and gaming works as part of the retro gaming mar uh, scene. And may even try to produce more content that way. We might see even bigger production of uh, homebrews and the other category I always mention Pro Brews, which is really done by more of those who have had professional experience rather than just hobbyists. That stuff is still pretty well going strong. Um, things like the Atari Age store being sold off by Mr. Albert Russo, you know, it was one of those changes I really wasn't sure I was so cool with at first, but things happen. The arrow time points forward. Things change. I don't really believe we're, we may see an entirely an entire end to the console generations as Another company might step in and try to offer something, realizing, hey, they might not think they can do anything more, but maybe we can. Even if we can't create, uh, increase the technology, maybe we can still come up with something that will be fun enough and uh, interesting enough that people will still buy it and will still be in business. 
Nintendo, who's not talking about getting out of it, could well keep going, and that may be one other avenue. I mean, and like I said, they could just turn back to the retro stuff, you know, and I've seen where, you know, people, you know, like around my generation and those a bit older have introduced their kids to the old school gaming, and their, their kids find it fun. They like it. You imagine we're, if they're having to turn back to games on physical media, even though it might be a bit difficult to collect or do it through well-done emulation, you know? This may be, you know, back generation, the game generations like I like and some that came after them would be the where we get a return to a full, a full circle. So we don't know what's going to happen for certain. But there are possibilities and we're just going to have to wait and see. But as it goes, I personally don't believe that video gaming is going to be history. They were talking about, oh, it's just a fad, it's dying out back around the early to mid-1980s, uh, around the time of the uh, 1983 um, market crash, which some don't even really seem to remember happening. But anyway, the thing is, it's a fun, innovative technology that uh, fulfill, fills a need, provides a purpose, provides a certain entertainment and such. So no, I don't think it's something that's going to go away that easy. It's just going to evolve and adapt into its next phase. Whether that still includes consoles or not, I don't know. Again, it's a wait and see thing. Now, um, I did want to mention, you know, some do know this about me and some don't. One of the other reasons why I haven't been as active here is because I do have a second channel going. It's small, only had going for maybe two, three months, somewhere in there. It is called BMK Magic Explorations, and it's about magic in terms of, uh, oh, uh, illusion, uh, performance magic, or stage magic, you know, like, um, oh, uh, I think uh, Pin and Teller, something like that. Harry Houdini, whatever. And it's also about magic in the sense of the supernatural, such as you might find in uh, neo-paganism, witchcraft, stuff like that. Uh, the stuff that's more along the lines of being spiritual or religious, or oftentimes it's not really attached to any type of belief system. Uh, you can feel free to go ahead and check that out if you like. Um, I'll go ahead and leave a link to it along with links to, uh, in the comment section down below, the videos from both Brian's Man Cave and the Atari Creep, so that you can check those out if you like. And uh, if you really have a problem with me being a syncretic, eclectic, neo-pagan witch, as I tend to put it, as my personal spiritual and re religious beliefs, okay, nobody's keeping you watching this stuff. I don't care. This channel's always been a bit smaller, and ha I haven't had it. I know it takes a long time for them to really grow, but heck, I'm the type of person who believes in... Um, Accepting all different types of diversity in people, including beliefs, uh, religious, spiritual, gaming, whatever. And so, feel free to check that channel out too if you like. Um, like this one, it's kind of been a little bit more intermittent. It's admittedly cheaper to do since, um, well, I don't have to have as much material. You know, I can just get on there, talk, and pre present a few interesting items, you know. So, it's not, it's a lot easier to do than a, uh, a retro video gaming channel or any type of video game theme-based channel, in a way, um, expense-wise and uh, material-wise. So feel free to check that out. And I will say, you know, as kind of closing, Chris called the Atari Creep and Brian's, putting up Brian's Man Cave, were two, along with a third, Phil, the No Swear Gamer, who inspired me to go from just being a consumer watching YouTube videos to actually becoming a content creator, a YouTuber myself. Uh, in this order, Brian first, then Chris, and then Phil. I discovered the I discovered them in that order, and I greatly appreciate how they contributed to helping me get started with all this and gave me the proper type of encouragement. We're also good friends, though we haven't met in person. We chat on uh, social media and stuff quite a bit, follow and like each other's posts. In fact. Like I said, with uh, that, the meme I shared is what started this whole thing. And again, forgive my language, but all this shit starting that one damn meme share can do. Sheesh, sheesh. Oh well, maybe I shouldn't be so surprised. So, uh, Brian and Chris, I love you both. You're great friends. But at the same time, I almost hate the tar out of you right now for having me up so late having to do this. Not that I really have to, or, you know, I'd usually do things maybe around this time, but still... I guess in a way it's for the better. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. 
Sorry what I didn't feature any more video game content and just a discussion. If you enjoy this channel's content, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And please don't hesitate, hesitate to leave any questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section down below. Not sure exactly when it will be, but hopefully I will see everyone back here again in the next video and maybe even on my other channel. Take care, have a wonderful Monday, and keep gaming.